Well, for Michael Jordan, his legendary stature begins jet. here at the University of North Carolina. Interestingly enough, when Michael came into college, he wasn't thought of as going to be the savior to North Carolina. North Carolina was already number one team in the nation. So all of a sudden, he comes into this talented team where he could develop and learn his skills and learn his craft. And I think that was the best thing for him. The game between North Carolina and Georgetown. This game is so important because you have three top 75 players playing in this game. Patrick Ewing was probably the premier player in college basketball, uh, along with James Worthy. He was looked at uh, as now Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan into the his draft class. Michael became a focal point with inside of the game that I don't know if Georgetown was aware of or was ready for. I think Michael Jordan hitting that game winning shot propelled him uh, into a great stratosphere of confidence. This is where he honed his skills to become the greatest basketball player that we've ever seen. Let's get it. Now New Orleans is buzzing tonight with the national championship in the Superdome. Wow. Fans welcome to the college championship game. Today's matchup, the Georgetown Warriors and the North Carolina Hey, comment below if y'all want the uh y'all want the old old school trip today. I like it because it kind of makes it real listen to that. Standing time, six foot eight. Number twelve. So, for North Carolina, at the point, six feet four inches, number 32, Adam Barnett. How's basketball back in the day? For I would say all the way up to the late 90s was just as popular, six if feet not four popular, inches. than the NBA. Number 14, well, Magic and Bird, Roy and Duncan. For North Carolina. All the 90s, college basketball was right there. College basketball Six feet, seven inches. Number 51. Players only, you know, Greg play like one or two years. The only player I could play, I could consider the only recent player that I could remember. For Georgetown. At the other forward position. College years. Uh, at six foot, six inches. Up on the Washington Wizards. Number 31. So, John Nash. If y'all wanted to know why college basketball. For North Carolina. The man in the middle, number 41, 6'9", 224-pound sophomore from Brooklyn, New York, Sam Perkins. Mm -hmm. For Georgetown to go, number 21, 6'3", 170-pound senior from Gastonia, North Carolina, Eric Floyd. For North Carolina and go. Number 23, 6'5", 189 pound freshman from Wilmington, North Carolina, Michael Jordan. For Georgetown, the man in the middle, number 33, 7 yeah, feet, how, 220 yeah, pound freshman from Cambridge, Cambridge Massachusetts, time. Second grade Pat New York Knicks. Ewing. Well, maybe from third. North well, Carolina at forward, number 52, 6'9", 219 pound junior from Gastonia, North Top Carolina, ten from forward. James Worthy. Let's get it. Hold on, before I do anything. Oh, oh that's all right. Oh, you got it, you got it. All right, I just had to make sure. Hi everyone, welcome to New Orleans and the 1982 NCAA Championship Game featuring the North Carolina Tar Heels and the Georgetown Hoyas. Mike Fratello, both these schools hungry for a national title. Thompson. For Big John Thompson in Georgetown, wow. this will be their first ever national championship. Oh, oh, a chance for Sleepy Floyd, Patrick Ewing and company to go down in history. And on the other side for North Carolina, 
This wow. will be their first title, Clark, Coach since 1957. Like well, they have had a few well, second place really finishes, good. including uh, last year, since that 57 championship. Yeah, okay. The Tar Heels really, really looking to get over the hump. They're hoping James Worthy and Michael Jordan can lead the way. And if any guys can do it, Clark, it's those two right there. I'd hang my hat on those two. In the Hoyas yeah, backcourt, Sleepy Floyd and Roy Duncan with John Nash and Harold yeah. McRae at the forward. That's completely different. And star Pat Ewing is the five. For UNC, it's Adam yeah, Barnett yeah, and Michael Jordan at the guard spots. At forward, Craig Bacon and All-American James Worthy. And Sam Perkins is the center. Well, These school's talented freshmen, they will have a lot to say about who wins tonight. And the tip-off goes to North Carolina. Here's Barnett. At the elbow, it's Worthy. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Clark Ewing and Jordan, incredible freshman talents in different ways. Yeah, you know, Kevin, Ewing's M.O. is to dominate the inside defensively, rebounding and blocking shots, rim protecting, scoring near the hoop. Jordan is looking to get his by shooting and slashing. Play lockdown perimeter D. Boy, no, it's a joy to watch both of these guys play, and I can't wait to see them get after it. I can't wait either. The Hoyas shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. Tried that hot step. Look at the replay. Damn. This is 82. Damn. Let's see. Crack was just crack was just hitting the hitting the blocks, boy. It's 82. I don't even think the filler out yet. On the free throw, no good. No off the wall was still the shit, boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he can't hit the second. Now the Tar Heels with it. Here's Bacon. He dishes it to Worthy. And the rebound goes to Nash. Clark and Mike, as we know, two big rule differences between the college and NBA game. No three-point line in NCAA basketball. And that's crazy. And Clark, no shot clock as well. No shot clock is Kevin Faber. Teams that focus they was on playing the inside, old school. Guys like in college Pat basketball and it also rewards those teams that are patient. Teams like UNC, who are prone to play a delay game at times. For real, bro. Like, wow. This playing old school. No shot clock. And no three point line in the 82 NCAA basketball. Like, just think about that. That's wild. And that one misses. At the free throw line, Pat Ewing is solid. Good mechanics. I think he could get even better. And he sinks the second. All right, let's stop playing. I have to doing And here's North Carolina now. Out of bounds, Damn. Georgetown takes possession. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, see how they just made me step out of bounds? Scripted, scripted, scripted Here's Floyd. animation. Barnett scripted covering. animation. They just made me jump out of bounds. Ewing, the pass Shout to out Nash. to Slumdog Tree in there, bro. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe to his the channel. The feet to Ewing. He really be exposing how Lays it up and takes it in. And just a shade Ewing. under seven feet tall. You can't really even hard play to cover right. Ewing they, in they space. They punish you for playing good. They be trying to cheat you. Dunking right. against Jordan. Get him off him. Uh, you do not test Pat Ewing. Wow, try someone else. Well, this UNC team, they're known for their delay game. Without a shot clock, they'll hold the ball late, which in turn will shorten the games. And you know, Mike, that style's worked extremely well for them this season. North Carolina That's has won wild. 15 they were still straight playing games keep overall, away basketball in two. college. In the in the 80s, bro. That's wild, bro. That's tough. I ain't know that, bro. That's that's hard. 
Free throw good, Jordan. Tell you what, I love the energy that Michael Jordan plays with because his energy is infectious. It gives his team energy. And both free throws good for Jordan. Free throw shooting is a skill, and this guy absolutely has it. Duncan outside. Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. How the fuck Here's am I Ewing. Nine with it's Jordan. open by the Tar Heel. And a dream defer. The Tar Heel is back once again in this championship game. For more, let's go to our championship sideline reporter, David Olmos. Thanks very much. I'm going to try, man. North Carolina, I'm going to try. I'm going to have to play off ball. Their first national title in 25 years. They've been so close so many times. Four times they were national runners up, including last year. You got Sam, Sam Perkins, Perkins and Perkins James Patrick Worthy are down back down from that field. team. They each said they learned a lot from last year's run in the tournament. Kevin? Thank you, D.A. And for the Tar Heels, Mike, tonight, the X Factor might be a freshman. This Michael Jordan kid is special. He lives for these big moments. Told me he wished he could have played last year. Might have been a different result. Stage doesn't seem too big for him, does it, Mike? Never. Bailey, he's checked in for Duncan. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. You know, before this weekend, none of these guys have played in a dome. It's hard to shoot in these places, Clark. Yeah, you know, I think sometimes, Mike, that's a tad overrated, but there is something to the fact that your depth perception is a little bit off. You can't really simulate what it's like in a dome. So I think you look for these teams to really attack and not settle for jump shots. The shot is good by McCray. You expect that Ewing will finish the play, but here he is selflessly creating for another guy. Left side worthy. Shoots it. The smooth jumper by James Worthy. We don't see a lot of 6 9 guys who can shoot like that. To the inside, Ewing. Slam and early statement from Ewing. Tell you what, that one felt like more than two points. Ewing shaking the floor, firing up his Hoya teammates. Outside for Jordan. First shot, first best. He's out of the blocks fast. While older players like James Worthy might be the leader of UNC, youngster Michael Jordan is the fire of the Tar Heels. And how unique is it? We don't often see a freshman, Mike, starting in the national championship game. Jordan certainly a guy to keep an eye on. He's an incredible athlete and a tremendous competitor. Tar Heels leading by three. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. This is a sign of experience. Worthy knows when to hand it off to a more open guy. Down low. Perkins on Ewing. Ewing inside. Covered by Perkins. This is and pass. Ewing slams it in. And that is how you Ewing. get busy on the glass. What a finish. Yeah, Clark putting a little extra muscle into that one for sure. Yeah. <laughs> he was a menace on that one. Keeping it alive and then punishing the D for not bodying up on him. From in close with force. Well, they need all the points they can get, guys. In a tight game like this, dunks feel extra important. They get it again. Ewing, that's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. Hard for North Carolina to contest this. Ewing uses his size to snatch the rebound and get a shot of his own. Here's Nash over Perkins. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. No way, sir. Roy is shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. Shooting two. Free throw, good Nash. And the Tar Heels making a change here. McLaughlin's checked in. Green, he's checked in for the Hoyers. Both free throws from Nash. 
And here's North Carolina now. Passes to Perkins. And Jordan has it in the corner. Back to Perkins. Perkins scoring on Ewing. That is a massive matchup tonight. There are so many different ways for guys to stay in shape in the offseason. For Sam Perkins, how about this? He worked the construction job. Perkins trying to add strength, and we'll see how much it helps in his battle with Pat Ewing down low. Here's Floyd. Oh. That's it, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. Here's Jordan, and Michael Jordan is in the double figure. The freshman wants the spotlight, you can tell. Really impressive, smart basketball from a freshman. Jordan showing you good discretion with his shot. Floyd passes to Green. Here's Floyd. Nash outside. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Jordan. And here we go. Fast break. Jordan's got it. Pass to McLaughlin. Kicks it to Jordan. And the pass to Perkins. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Excellent interior defense. Just ripped the ball out of there. And the Hoy is making a change here. Weber's checked in. Jump ball for that. Cosmos. And Ewing has got the ball here for Georgetown. It's a three-point game. Now here's Nash. Not a lot of room. Ewing against Perkins. No good from Ewing. Now Jordan. He's got 10 inside. And it's Perkins with the jam. Boy, Jordan just sees everything. Great awareness. And he makes quick decisions. Michael Jordan. And here are the Hoyas now. And the Hoyas call time out here. Yes, sir. Like what y'all think it's so far, man? Let me know in the comments below. Make some changes. Gotta stay flexible Whooping with that ass, man. And his guys know that. It's all about setting the team up for success out there. Again, this is the first edition of the Jordan Chargers. This is the Georgetown Hoyas facing the North Carolina Joy Hills in the 1980, 1982. I'm sorry, NCAA, NCAA College Basketball Championship. Here now is Weber. Nash outside. Back to Weber. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Love the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball inside and outside action. Jordan drives in. Explosive on the bounce. Michael Jordan. Defensively, you're trying to force Jordan to take jumpers. Easier said than done, though. He's so quick off the bounce. Nash, the pass to Green. Here's Bailey, guarded by Jordan. Here's Ewing. They can't stop Ewing around the bucket. I'm going to tell you what, this game's been a lot of fun to watch because these teams, they've got it going on early. Hang on to your hats. They're getting after it. Here's McLaughlin, guided by Green, stolen by Weber. An even three-on-three -three break. And the basket by Bailey. A sharp steal and some quick offense cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. Jordan, the pass to McLaughlin. Reaching foul. Perry Green. First personal foul. Third team foul. Substitution on the court. Nash against Jordan. Pass to Bacon. 
Here's Caldwell. And North Carolina in their delay game, taking their time. We know the Hoyas like to pressure the ball, but they have to stay patient. Carolina is hunting for a mistake. One-handed, threw it down with power. Oh, he loves that move. An iconic one for him. And finished off by Birkin. Well-positioned pick by Birkin, creating room for the ball handler and then getting himself ready to score. Passes it to Baylor. Now, here is Weber. Rod. Awesome hustle from him there on defense. Excellent steal. James Worthy's checked in for Barnett. Duncan, he's checked in for the Hoyas. Floyd comes in for Weber. North Carolina leading. Georgetown center Pat Ewing, the seven-foot freshman sensation, was born in Jamaica. Played lots of soccer and cricket as a youngster. His family moved to Boston for high school, and the rest is history. And naturally, Coach, when the Ewings moved to Boston, Pat picked up the game of basketball. Boy, did he ever. <laughs> Becoming one of the most sought-after recruits ever. Pat visited a few schools, including North Carolina, but Ewing picked Georgetown. Yeah, I think you liked big John Thompson, didn't it? Two shots. Last on the first. No, man, you can let it go. Free throw drops for Worthy. You know, we'll big game change. Finals MVP. With the championship hanging in the balance. Tongue in cheek. Not too much pressure. And so he makes both from the lock. Here's Floyd. Man, how the fuck am I gonna do? I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna Nash play outside. Get these rebounds. Duncan surveying the D. Floyd. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Taking advantage of the overanxious D, Floyd draws a whistle here. Oh, he's shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts right for the game right here. here. Only with them in this way. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Mike, when we take a look out on the court, so much talent out there right in front of us on the floor. Kevin, there are at least five bona fide NBA players in this game. Ewing, Jordan, Perkins, Floyd, Worthy. A star-studded championship game. So he gets them both. On the offensive end, Floyd can be very impressive. He's already scored over 2,000 points in his career with Georgetown. To the middle, stolen by Ewing. Out to the right wing. Pass to Duncan. And here's Ewing to the left side wing. In his last game for the Hoyas, Sleepy Floyd is hoping to lead his school to a title. Floyd let it go quickly that time. Didn't want to give the defense a chance to recover. To the paint. The Hoyas yeah, with the no steal. Way. They've racked up a few of those already. Here's Ewing. Oh, the Hoyas love to run. They want this game to be a track meet. Right now, it's simply the second shots that are killing them. I mean, they've got to do a better job securing the miss after playing solid defense. And it's so deflating giving up a score like that. What the fuck? Work hard see to this? force a miss, and then it's all no for nothing. Way. Nash the pass to four. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Here's Worthy. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. I play physical as hell right now. Strong take by like the All-American, James Worthy. The Tar Heels have been excellent at the free throw line here today. A flawless six for six.
from Hillifix, but I got two rebounds. And this is the first half, so. Got 12 points, I think. I can cook it with James Worthy. On the free throw. <laughs> Playing good. team ball right now. Freshman of the year. Guard Michael Jordan appears headed to slaughter. Adams, he's checked in for North Carolina. He hits the second from the line. And young Michael Jordan, born in Brooklyn. Clark, he grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina. And Kevin, it's well chronicled, but Jordan didn't make his varsity basketball team until he was a junior. It's an indication of how everybody's journey to development is different. Michael used that slight, though, as fuel becoming a high school All-American. Michael Jordan, one to keep tabs on as his career progresses. Near the three-point line, it's Nash. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys, but he also needs to convert that. Uh, well, Gastonia, North Carolina, a small town of less than 50,000 people. Oh! Features two stars in tonight's title game. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thanks Ooh. very much. Now, James Worthy of North Carolina and Sleepy Floyd of Georgetown both Sleepy hail Floyd. from Gastonia. No way, really well, they grew up going to church together. They went to rival high schools. Despite James being highly recruited and Floyd going under the radar, this is a good Sleepy's game. That's a real bucket. Real bucket. They got bucket. the better of James's Ashbrook Ooh. in the 1977 state title game. David, that is a great story. Interior play. Thank you very much. Hey, Mike. Open. They say Gastonia, real North team Carolina, basketball, much shut down tonight. All glued to the game. You are correct. <laughs> Everyone in that Excuse town me. is watching uh, this lead game. changes. Worthy with a chance to avenge the state title loss with a national title win. Wouldn't that be something? The coach now looking to make some adjustments. Yeah, so I like this timeout. Reset. Talk it over. How you want to attack this game? Playing in his final game at Georgetown, senior guard Eric Sleepy Floyd with just about 2,300 career points. Floyd is the all-time leader in Hoyas basketball. Floyd, good. In amongst the big, bad Carolina defense, Sleepy Floyd gets it to go. And Adams has got the ball here for North Carolina. The pass to Perkins, and it's slammed in by Perkins. Perkins killing off Great shot roll, selection boy. by North Carolina. This is a team that was over 60% during the regular season. Big two-time NBA champion, if I'm not mistaken. Perkins got everything to go for him. Five attempts, five makes. And Clark, the man they call Sleepy. Floyd is 6'3", and some kind of excitement for the Hoyers. I love good. the way Ooh. he plays with such flair and enthusiasm and energy. He's the focal point of the Georgetown attack, and I really expect Sleepy Floyd to be a first-round draft pick in the upcoming NBA draft. He is a dynamo for sure. Yep. And it's the Hoyas with the ball. Coach, freshmen are going to have a big say who wins tonight. We are just talking about that. Carolina's Michael Jordan, Georgetown's Pat Ewing. Fairly even thus far. It's rare in a title game to focus so much on the freshmen. But Jordan and Ewing are special. Very special. You can tell Jordan knows he has to outwork other guys inside. He doesn't expect it to be easy. Duncan outside. Here's Floyd. Ewing trying to get open. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, there's a reason it was way off. He got fouled. Yeah, easy was Sleepy Floyd, he hooping. I got a look at this. I definitely think he made it to the lead. I do remember. I do recognize the name. Shooting two. Alright, this is the time I can be getting these rebounds. That's when you were out the game. I already got three. I only need six more. I think I could do it. I could do it. I could for sure do it. He's perfect from the line this time. For his uh for his career, I'll say Michael Jordan. 
rebounding. He averaged like six point something rebounds. To the inside. Worthy. Extra emphasis from Worthy looking to avenge that title loss last year. Oh! How Worthy challenges what a drive the from James Daring the Warriors to come between yeah, him lead. and the hoop. Duncan outside. Pass to Floyd. 14, 3 and 3. Duncan against Jordan. And Duncan gets it to go in. Mike Worth still in the first half, but Jordan's been fantastic so far. Jordan is not just scoring, but he's also been efficient, not wasting his chances. Duncan outside. Right side green. Over to the wing. Here's Floyd. Goes up again. Basket counts. Wow. Floyd's got the lead wow. at the four now for the Hoyas. If Georgetown wants to win, Floyd has got to be aggressive and score the ball. He's the guy they rely on. And the Tar Heels call time here. Damn. Come on, Dean. You gotta help me out, bro. I'm trying to get these rebounds. This is a good ass game. 20 minute quarters. I mean halves, not quarters. Barnett comes in for Adams. Tar Heels trail by four. Outside Jordan. And there's Knight. That's good on the assist by Jordan. Jordan's got four assists now tonight. The story of their offense so far has been just that, getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Floyd passes to Green. Here's Floyd. Duncan outside. From 15 feet away, shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. The Hoyas have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. John Nash, 20. Ooh, John Nash. He ain't having that good of a game from the field. Hey, what y'all think so far, man? So far, I think it's better than the 2K11 uh, Jordan Challenge. Of course, that's classic, man. That's what introduced most of us who play it now into 2K. I started playing the 2K7, 2K8, back at PlayStation 2K. Free throws, good that's when I really got on 2K. I'm like, okay, this is the basketball game. Tar Heels trail by four. So, uh, Jordan passes to Perkins. Good. Let me know, man. Uh, what y'all think? Perkins got out of this first, points uh, in the game. This first Working uh, inside, that Perkins able to penetrate that Georgetown defense. Look at the detail, man. The filters, the commentary. Passes it to four. The, uh, the NCAA rules. The NCAA, period. I don't think the NCAA. Back to Duncan. Was all, uh, it, it definitely wasn't. It definitely wasn't. It definitely wasn't. Yeah, the Hoyas have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. Damn. Now they in the bonus. I'm trying to get these rebounds, bro. And a nice job of nailing the first one of the one and one, so the chance now to make it two. Bailey's checked in for the Hoyas. Good on the second, so he makes them both. Tar Heels trail by four. Barnett passes to Perkins. Here's Jordan. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Using the pump fake to win the mental game. Pretty clever move by Jordan. The Tar Heels have been good at the free throw line. This one, seven of eight. Carolina 11, is that, uh, is that a thing? Or the Yellow Blues, whatever the motherfuckers is called? Or the Columbias, that's what they was called, the Columbias. And that one misses. Yeah, like, like, Tripping. Come on. 
good on the second free throw. Boy is leading by three. Pass to Bailey. Duncan with it. Over Jordan. No good from Duncan. If you want to win an NCAA title, you need plays like that from Jordan. Effort on the defensive end. Jordan dishes to Perkins. Perkins, good look. It's good look, by the Hoyas. Good look, Perk. Here's Floyd. The box out. Jordan, five Jordan. rebounds. Jordan's got oh, yeah, number five here tonight. Down low. Oh, hook That's shot! In the Hoyas lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Barnett. Nice to see Jordan settle in. Guys can get antsy in games of this match. 15, 5, Kicks and 6. Dunk. We hoop it. Hey! How many rebounds I to get? Nine? Oh, Here's one Floyd. One. He's got 12. Takes it inside. Look at that defense. They Look double the in with Jordan. Yeah. The pass to four. A very patient hey, position. Y'all don't want to no uh, do these challenges over and over again. You better just play I know, ball, Mike, bro. you love how guys are making plays for one another. And we've seen it all game long. Yeah, a real balanced attack. Total team effort. Here's Jordan. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials just play, on the uh, with the just play off ball. Defense a little too amped up there. Yeah, we do for now. I'm close. I'm close. I might get a triple double for real, for real. Game. Oh, I like How's that looking? aggressive approach offensively, drawing five fouls, rebounds, left and right. And clearly, 17 he's points, six when assists he's in the there. first half. He just keeps knocking him down. This is looking like 88 Jordan. 32. Uh, Ties it up. And this is 88. Give them the lead. So both teams changing it up here. Let's get this lead back. Once we get this lead, we ain't giving it up. What a game, bro. I like this mode so far. I like this mode so far. This been a good game. No cap. Good and game. that one falls. That puts him up by one point. See, I'm taking now, advantage of uh, Patrick you and not Duncan being outside. in now. I'm getting them boards. And Clay stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. He was just a bit out of position on the screen. He tried to make up for it, but he got caught. Always oh, a tricky plans, play to pull. Uh, small but the refs were right on it. To the middle, it's stolen by Green. They push it up for on three. Duncan high post. Green kicks to Duncan. Back to Green. Pass to Floyd. As long as I'm on him, he's not getting nothing. Look at that. You see that cut? Yeah. Pass to Green. Cut that off. Look at this help defense. Here's Floyd. Watch Barnett the covering. I'm ready. Trying to end the drought. Off the left rim and out. Inside. Here's Worthy. Nice Good pass. Shot. Good right Worthy. The perfectly for the layup. Assisted. And it's 13 points for James Worthy. One second left. That shot off. And what that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. North Carolina's ahead. They lead by three. Wow. Y'all see this, man? What y'all thinking, man? I fuck with it. The streets of New Orleans, a city wow. with so much Look history. Look at New Orleans in the 80s. That's what that's Kellogg, supposed to be. Mike Fratello and David Aldridge. Look, they got the Mercedes Cooper Dome. That's tough. I like, I like that. I like that. North Carolina and it Georgetown. Tough. Tonight, we'll crown a champion. It's just one challenge, bro. This is impressing me. I already knew 2K was going to be During this year's game, NCAA bro. tournament, North Carolina is shooting over 75% in second half. Some tremendous post-halftime play. Taking a look at the Hoyas, Nash is out there with McCray. Then there's Duncan. Then it's Ewing. And it's Floyd in at the one spot. Here's one. <laughs> and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, James Worthy and Michael Jordan. Hey, y'all know Michael. Y'all know Michael Jordan got James Worthy in his all-time five lineups. This magic the Jordan the Tar Heels have been getting and, uh, it done at the line, ten for twelve. And, uh, Hakeem Olajuwon in his draft class, tipping his teammate Magic Johnson played with him in the Dream Team and uh and in the finals in '91. So yeah, man, that'd be a, that's a championship team, no okay, cap, for real. This championship team. 
I'm hooping right now. Yeah, I think I can get four re four more rebounds with Jordan. Free throw drops minutes. for Worthy. In the tournament, Mark the Tar Heels over 75% after the break. How have they shot it so well? There are a number of factors, Kevin, but I think one of the primary ones is patience. UNC has that stall game, if you will. They're looking for the for best real, shot, and they wait crazy, for the right bro. shot. The experience they of James Worthy, I think, helps them with days. that as well. Just, they need to add, Edmondson, bro. They so need the lesson the to shot clock. The Hoyas trail bro. by four. That's tough, man. I can't Shoot even from 14. That's hard. That's the four. I'm just trying to bet. That's hard, bro. Here's Those Foy. rules back then, bro. See, the game didn't die. Here's moving, the pass bro. to Ewing. You have to get, a, you have to be a real bucket. Feeds here. it to Nash. Well, you can play keep Ewing away with if it. you wanted to. Back to Duncan. Here's Foy driving inside. It's off his foot, and oh, the ref saying on. he kicked it. Uh, we got Tar Heels. Wow, what what is that referring to, North Carolina? They was working on railroads or some shit. Here's Duncan. McCray passes the four. Second chance shot. Yeah, 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 yeah. North Carolina yeah, freshman Michael Jordan. Fantastic, Mike, so far. Shooting well. Very comfortable shooting in the dome. Jordan will be key down the stretch. Worthy wants to make the Tar Heels championship dreams come true and working hard we, to we do so. We've been banging on them boys, bro. I only need three more. Come on. Three Floyd. more, baby. Three more, baby. Here's McCray, covered by Worthy. Duncan, the pass to four. And that one barely misses as he yeah, tries. Yeah, we get the control now. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a triple-double. I think you know, so. I think that was a I message sending foul there. They're not going to allow any easy buckets at the rim. I could have yeah, got Yeah, as a coach, I, I like that easily, one. But, Make them know, earn it at the line. I ain't trying to do that. I, I got I to gotta play for the win, bro. I could have been forcing it in. Hell, I would have been. I would have been never getting as many assists and rebounds as I'm getting. Feel me? So that's what, that's what it is. That's good from Floyd. Sleepy Floyd. Shout out to Sleepy Floyd, man. For real, for real. He looked like a solid point guard. I got to look up his history. Shots good from the strike. Tar Heels leading by four. Passes it to Worthy. Outside Jordan. And stolen by Nash. Good deed, good deed, Duncan good deed, inside. Jordan on him. No good from Duncan. In last year's title game in Philadelphia. North Carolina oh, dropped it to Isaiah Thomas and in did the end, just see that steal? How did he throw it to a him on the outside? For sure for Why would he do that? Hit. Like, that didn't make sense. Ball's not loose. Good deal. Jordan kicks it over to Worthy. Here's Barnett. Pass to Bacon. That was a bad pass. I ain't gonna And now Hall is on the break. Duncan dishes to Ewing. That was on me. That was on me. That was just bad basketball right there. I like the effort two from the Tar Heels inside. Two more. We got it. Ewing is committed to taking the shot and gets to the line. 17, 17, North 7. North Carolina Mike <laughs> dropping last year's NCAA championship game. It's a huge motivating factor for their returners. Guys like James Worthy, Sam Perkins. They said that loss fueled them during off-season workouts. Well, those are terrific college basketball players. Patrick Ewing, throw, no good. One of the stretch bigs before it, we had a turn for it. You know what I'm saying? 
a stretch big before the title was even invented. And he's good on the second. He needs to step up, though. Here is Jordan. Been, I think he's been he's hot got once 17. Game, but he's really been hooping like he could have. This play. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. No question, Jordan has found an offensive flow here. Not easily done as a freshman in a championship game. Kicks to Nash. Freshman. And there's the pass to four. Game, bro. He got that itch quick, bro. He, that fire built Outside, in the back, Ewing. Bro. Back in the days playing baseball. To the middle. Brother, here's man. Nash. He to win, bro. That's good. And Ewing with the yeah. assist. Nash has got eight. Born in Washington, D.C., John Thompson is the perfect head coach for Georgetown. Big John was a great player back in his day. Oh, Backed up Bill Russell for two that's years us. with the Boston Celtics. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Duncan. Oh, God, for real. Here's Worthy. 16 points for him. Here's Bacon. Back to Worthy. And he makes good on the way. 18 points for James Worthy. Big John Thompson patrolling the sidelines. Clark for the Hoyas. What makes him such a great coach? Well, the players Look love, at him. but they also boy, respect like him up. greatly. You marvel at what he's done at Georgetown. He's really built that program into a perennial power. Prior to his arrival oh, what a block, in 1972, what a block from Worthy. it was a perennial losing program. He's got the Hoyas right on the precipice of a championship tonight. He does indeed. Floyd. Great. Good. Jordan, get the ball. By Worthy. Perfect timing right there to rise up and challenge the right shot inside. Oh, no. And that's not easy to do. But he made it look effortless. He takes defense very seriously. Shoot Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. Nash kicks to Duncan. Back to Nash. Pass to McCray. They're looking for some kind of cut. Let's cut that up. Duncan in the corner. I get it, Tim. Michael Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Perkins, the pass to Worthy. He feeds it to Perkins. Michael Jordan on the wing. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Patrick Yeah, I'm going to get it, y'all. After, after I get the, after I fulfill this goal, which I already have to win the game, George after I get the game, I'm going to be playing. I'm playing back on ball. You know what I'm They haven't won it all in 25 years. You got a guard getting nine take rebounds. What? What's going Two on, you in? You starting, you starting your choking ways a little too early. You start early already. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm just playing. Pat, you one of my favorite. Good. 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 I got a pair of rare 1994 uh, rap group. And it's Weber Hip-hop legend Duncan. crisscross uh, Pat Ewing's in my closet. They came back. They came out back in 2015. They they weren't out since uh, 1994. So you know. I'm a, I'm a big, I'm and a big so country Jordan country. nails both of them. I mean, not a fan, but and Weber's got the I ball like here Patrick for Georgetown. Yeah, they saying. trail by seven. Nash outside. Here's Floyd. He's got 14. Down low. Green in the post. Give me that. And Green gets it to go. Great possession there. He ends up with a look right at the rim. Right side worthy. Over oh, 20 for James Worthy. He is playing his best basketball when it matters the most. And hopefully that one-handed dunk gets him going. I think that's why he went for it. And These guys Jordan. need a boost, don't they? Yep. Especially in a game. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I do realize no he's playing point guard a little bit this game, so. Again, this was the of his 88 season. Barnett against Webber. Pass to Nash. Michael Jordan played point guard, boy. Great. Sinks the 15-footer. Nash has got 10 points in the game. 
Can't afford to leave him open for mid-range. You're asking to get burned when you do this. Jordan kicks to Perkins. Back to Jordan. Out to the wing. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He made it. Establishing his presence inside. Jordan drawing more contact here. 90% from the line in the game, shooting 9 of 10. Shooting 2. The throw good. Jordan on the court. And the Hoyas make a change. Davis has checked in. Hey, I like college basketball, man. I like the I like the two halves, bro. The two 20 minute halves. Both good from the line that time. I think that's a good way to keep the fans. The Hoyas trail by seven. The much talked about matchup of freshmen. freshman. Bro. Jordan and Ewing. Mike, it's been very close. Thing, like two quarters, While the two don't half, directly I mean, four face four off, half, they set know, the tone for their teams. Quarters. We never say that about first-year players. Never. Mike, when it comes to shooting, so far, so good for North Carolina in the second half. They're executing their offense well, getting great looks against a stiff Georgetown defense. Barnett passes to Jordan. Jordan with his ninth rebound. Okay, I'm playing, to off. Barnett. I'm playing off ball. And so it looks I got like it. North Carolina will retain possession. I got my, my All right, you got two minutes left. took it away. Very active hands I'm disrupting the passing lanes. And the Tar Heels making a change here. Bacon's checked in. Now I got it. I'm going to snap with Jordan. Jordan against Nash. That's tipped. And so now look at that. North Carolina will retain possession here. Ball. Here's Jordan. A patient possession here from the Tar Heels. That's in no block. hurry at all. Yeah, we show that. We Here's Floyd. Barnett covering. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Adam Barnett at the line for two. Shout out my boy Trey Flocker, man. That's good. Be okay, C. I already know. You know. He inspired a lot of us YouTubers right now, man. So I just wanted to give him his flowers right now. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the whole LDBC to Rafa TV Town Business Ticket. Uh. The real Elysee Carcino. Cohen falls, so he hits both of them. HDTV. Tar Heels leading by three. Jose Rodriguez, you know what I'm saying? Christian Fowler. Sneaky Fowler. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. Way more than in a bonus. Here's Jordan. He's got 23. Here's Worthy. Great D that time from Green. The Tar Heels being patient, hoping to capitalize on a mistake by Georgetown. Here's Davis. Ewing trying to get open. And it's Davis missing. Jordan outside. Bacon's shot is off. Since the break, Clark, a great job by Georgetown defensively. They're making things Good hard deep. on the Tar Heels offense. Jordan with no his tenth rebound. Down to so Worthy. Far. Back worthy to, Jordan. to Jordan. Nice D from Nash. The Hoyas trail by three. Great defense. That one off the back iron and out. 
Tough to miss such high percentage looks. Deflated. Oh, what a dust is Have to take advantage of open lanes in this championship. Ordy did just that. Floyd passes to Davis. Vicious to Green. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That's his first foul. Duncan, he's checked in for Davis. Had to go for the steal. Pass to Floyd. I wonder what uh, passing his numbers is. He been hooping, but he ain't been like dominating. Oh, worthy with the block. That's great anticipation by Worthy, who has averaged over one block per game throughout his collegiate career. Well, one Tar Heel is stepping up, Mike, in the national title game, freshman Michael Jordan. We expected that from Michael. He's a big game player. And boy, Jordan's been huge tonight. Back to Jordan. Plays it. Run a foul. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely about to get that triple-double. Damn, I'm going to get a triple-double, boy. Damn, I hey, y'all can't say I really been trying to force it with uh, look, 55% from the field. I ain't really even been trying to force it. All he took, like, I know I definitely took like less than 15 shots. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get rebounds. I wasn't forcing them passes. You know, Sam Perkins got 10 points, James Worthy got over 20, and uh, the point guard got five assists. I'm playing real team basketball. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing real team basketball. Yeah, what, what, what else can you say? I'm not teasing. I played a little off ball, but that was just to get the go, uh the goal. I even, so it ain't even like I'm a open. center just standing in the paint. The Hoy is trailed by seven. So, Floyd yeah, nothing to say. I'm playing real basketball. Tries again. Green the rebound North Carolina. Jordan's got rebound number 12 here already Down. in the game. Look, six assists for Barnett. Duncan he outside. Have one. He can have damn, just as much assists as him. Passes it to Ewing. Out to Nash. Here's Floyd. Oh, Barnett yeah, covering. Boy. Near the three-point line, it's Nash. Misses off the right iron. Georgetown trying to get their first national Another title. One. It. This is a program that missed the NCAAs for 32 straight years. Damn, bro. Just their second ever appearance in the Final Four. I wonder what and unlike North Carolina, Carolina, Georgetown I think was not Hall of Fame. considered a blue I mean, blood my, in my, college hoops. I already on Hall of Fame. No, Look, 83%. What, changed, though, 83% from the field. Game 40 is years ago. It did. famous. Yeah, Georgetown was considered a, legend, a small school. A top 75 player, now? Hall of Famer. They One reason is because it's efficiency from the field. Would cement them and uh, the 87 the when he won his finals MVP. recruiting has been terrific. He shot uh, over 60% from the field. And I think definitely over 22 points, I believe. So, yeah, I see that. He got 26 points off 83% from the field. He ain't taking that many shots, and he ain't dribbling that much.